What's going on everybody, Press Spotlight and we have the best Lucio plays on Overwatch League Season 3. It's going to be a good one. Stay tuned, subscribe and like, and yeah, check it out. What? Both now sent in for the Atlanta Rain to try and recontest this one. He gets slapped back a little bit, behind a little bit. Again, but the super able to rotate around, takes cover in the building, and KSF is out of it. Much better rotation for the shop. Massive move from Moth. Moth on the case this time, not letting that Reaper go unchecked. Boots him on the TP, and then boots him off the map. So, really nice stuff in that. And a desperation out of Dreamer. I don't think the cleanup's gonna be there. The shock in the standard. And a lose a nearly a sound barrier. In their arsenal. First Blizzard, however, to come out from Stratus. Something struck over on the side from Ellie Pope, but cannot rematch. Jack Sage, do some serious work. Kraken Skulls, he cracks another one! Takes down Roar for the triple kill, and the Outlaws glide on through to P. Look at that. Deleting Joy Hilvin. The accretion makes short work of him there. You see the beam as well as doing enough. It brings down, but Mook gets two environmental kills! Are you kidding me? He clutches it up. Just when the San Francisco Shock were looking like there was a defeat. Surely you just try and get out, right? Will they be allowed to? No! Architect gets caught. That's me. I mean, now you start to build up some more. <gasps> what in what the world is this? No! Mod by three and he's far from done! The Outlaws decide to dive over. This time, though, you're a little bit healthier to start things out. Do I able to get onto Dante? Oh no! Ooh. Off the edge you go again! Jex is a madman! Completely out of his mind, but still. Fight to a degree. Nope, not anymore. Cool. <laughs> Pickle two! Are you kidding me? Another big boom coming out from MT God. Have been stolen from the kill team. But it matters oh! not! MT God! What a clinic! What a The Dragon Strike onto both tanks of the, uh, of the Florida Mayhem. Now Florida make this well. The switch back over to the May Reaper and they're just trying for some huge aggression. Oh my <laughs> word! The whole rock into the canal. Hey, that was Good night, no smite FD God. That was ridiculous. OG already eliminated. Mirror, however, with the right clicks does quickly take care of the Bob and McGrady. Finds another E onto a mirror. All gets rid of yet another blizzard. The second in the series, I do believe. Four of those blizzards taken out. Now Raid gets rid of mirror. They start pushing their way forward. Jax. Overloading, tries to stay alive, even though that additional armor coming through is not going to be enough. OG does eliminate him. You can see the body is still looking very comfortable in the fight. The Baby Diva eliminated, Vigru's taken out by Rain. Jess pushing for it, effectively to get rid of KS. Another Ice Wolf from Dante, a little bit off to the side. Bionate doesn't get any value. Jackson, look at the aggression, look at the moves. Straight into the back, takes out Jerry, it's going to be a lot of damage missing. These are the kind of plays that are necessary. Earth Shadow laid down. Dante hit the deck. He's still alive though. Houston's still in control at this point. Still in control, but with Mango down there, means that they can't establish control over the high ground too much. Nice sleep. Open Earth Shadow here for Mooba. Instead, he's gonna offer the charge. Mooba, where are you taking him? Off into No Man's Land. He spins backwards. What, what am I witness? What am I seeing? Why? Truly living up. To this battle of the ages between Boston and Rising and the Houston Outlaws. Jackson's got three kills in this fight. Somehow, some way, he's dragging the Houston Outlaws single-handedly. He back. says, "If you can't do it, I will." All right. I mean, that's that's absurd. Oh, and Xy. Oh, the double kill. 
Oh my goodness, Massa. Massa heard you talking too much. Simply get rid of McGravy. <laughs> Stay in the corner for as long as he likes. And the entirety of the Titans are either a little bit reluctant to push on to or differently. Oh, no! The group! Rain with two? Oh. Not a good start for Vancouver now. I mean, uh... Carpe is going to get nade. It has to play a little bit more safe. He's five grenade there for Rain to make sure Carpe can't play aggro. But speaking of aggro, funny aggro in the back line, getting off Erston. Now with your Nade down, you're really going to have to kill off Ivy pretty quick, Sharp. Very early beat for Astro, early Nano as well. On, uh, on, on Hawk, he's trying to move everybody forward. And Pokemon gets instantly destroyed by Astro. He's picked up two kills himself already. Make that a third with Dogman falling as well. This is why you pick up Astro on your team. It is over time. Gun is born, only got here in Doha. Had the EMP, so the team seems to be falling in favor of the Dallas field, but did get the first EMP. And not goes over the end zone. So big environmental kill from Paintcraft to take out so much of the healing for the Justice. EMP from Doha doesn't appear to have really caught anyone, but it'll get stick with a manual hack and remove him easily enough. And another shatter. Stratus instantly comes up with the ice wall to try and defend this one, but it's no time. Look at that roar! Blaze it down! Three! Sanguinelle! The Sanguinelle! What a clutch! Rue having that third tank jump on in as the Glideo is getting very close, but it's taken them so much time because of the duplicates. Yeah, Birdring now has to step above and beyond uh, the Call of Duty, uh, as opposed to what he was normally doing, getting rid of an extra tank in every fight. He's no being beat for a tracer, especially with all the armor you have to deal with. Empty God now is the line. And Moth's looking for a little bit of a boot here. He's hiding. He sees people. They don't know he's there yet, but here we the go. Halt. Oh, the the boot. to the boot! It's beautiful! Oh. Moth, you absolute legend! Wow! Oh my and of course, goodness! I mean, just do it. Just do it. Up and over, there we go! Four man hack! Coalescence still doing a lot of work though, as the shadow hits the ground. That B is gonna make sure Dallas Fuel get back to the point in time. But Veko pushes Gamsu away from the rest of his team and ends up going down. It is now up to Blase to actually salvage this fight. He's gonna eventually fall to paintbrush of all people. And now OT is here with one person on the payload. It's gonna be hydration. Wait, you're just too many down for the outlaws. But I do expect a little bit of stars. Jackson somehow we Jackson! Jackson! What? what in the world? How? <laughs> Why? Jexa! Just still impressing us uh, uh, on any kids game. Oh! Oh! It's happening again! Oh. Charge looking for the isolation. Jonak, a bit danger. The flashbang hits three. All through, not there. New York still in the stale. The immortality field so well timed from Jonak, keeping New York alive for a moment. But even with the immortality field, it's still not enough. The charge had a great engage. Yeah, this time uh, the charge did not give up that key ground. Last time the charge dropped off the high ground with a few players. They just want to value on a high ground already. Like more than they really expect. That was a gutsy oh. wizard. He was, but the beast's gonna come out. Gator actually gets caught on the other side of the wall. Luckily enough, Fairster was there to save him. Not quite enough to save Edison, however. And a beast engagement for the Eternal. All the utility from the rain is down. They got the call on their side not to use it. They get forced all the way back to their spawn. One minute, 20 seconds remains. And the main... It's all sorts of space. The Shock now taking the opportunity. Striker got to the back. And with two from Striker, the Shock now have regained the momentum here, Jake. Here we go. We're gonna see the attack really get into force. This first move is just to feed a bit of HP on the tanks, get that Coalescence ready for your real commitment. And this is going okay, but Void drops, and that's gonna probably kill the push here. Vince was able to catch Void there, aided by the Orisa. They did not let Void get in off the flank. It's a super quick Dragon Strike again down the corridor, but this time the Dragons able to sidestep Stand 1. Starting to make this difference, and three for Stand 1. As the Dragons turn that around completely. Great rotation. Craig's gonna chase him down. Not really what you wanna be. Ooh, doesn't quite get a mega health pack. So and Rain fights a double boop as well. Oh, beautiful start from that. <laughs> that was actually going to be really good for San Francisco, but the timing. Fire on the Sato. Sato getting low. Get the back up. Both teams trading out the neutral, and the front line for the Valiant just evaporates. The fusion just hit the switch, Jake, and suddenly the Valiant, they're out of the fight, they're out of the point. Yeah, the switch was. Uh, the Outlaws are playing so fast and aggressive, I like this from them, but Mecco gets caught out. But oh no! Mecco ends up taking himself out. I think the Graviton was a little bit too aggressive. Now the Fuel trying to punish Crypto off the edge. No. 
Graviton is built up. Uma finding himself very isolated. But Blissé on the other end Jackson. makes use of the distraction. That's insane. Dante on the clean of the Death Blossom over and in. And the Outlaws not quite out of it yet. In first, Dallas looks really comfortable. They're playing reactive, man. It's paying off. Funny Astro. Okay, manages to get out. No D sooner, but it's going to be an EMP here. Another questionable one from Doha. They catch Sado, but is that really enough? Sound barrier kept Sado ticking along nicely, and then he finishes off Crimzo. You'll have the primal rage, but more importantly, there's an EMP from Hisu if it's necessary. All over the point, and the dragons well on their way, but it's the dragon strike. It's things a little bit. It is not over just yet. The dragons very close to getting their first tick, and now they're securing. However, Torb is extremely effective in this situation. He's one of the best heroes at this anti-stall play. The Torb turret, of course, is going to be constantly grinding away at these attackers. And Torb himself is incredibly difficult to kill with that overcharge ability. Poking, prodding, tag, trying to take a couple of those shots. The City of Mortality Field went down instantly. That's an important cooldown. You can see the peel as well. Look at the back line. They're trying to bring down Bird Ring, but unfortunately, not enough damage is there to try and do it. Now, Soman Su is putting in a bit of work. But now he's trapped behind enemy lines, and he is going to be brought down in the end. What? This is crazy! It's a May and a Lucio versus a May and a Lucio on the point <laughs> for the final one. These teams could not be more evenly matched. Dreadlock him with it as well. It's going to be a gravitic flux for KSA to try and get his team out of trouble. But you know what they say? Pop goes up, must come down. <laughs> and the Titans here really struggle to deal with that. The setup was perfect for the justice. Two support ultimates and a perfectly placed EMP. It doesn't matter what composition you're playing, even the Wrecking Ball doesn't prolong.